Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I have three tips on how to attract a better partner. So stay tuned. All right, family, thank you so much for coming back. So before I give you the three tips on how to attract a better partner, think about purchasing one of my online programs. Now, if you are new here, let me just explain to you. I have three online programs, depending on what stage you are in in your relationship. So I have one for my super single people who are out there. Maybe you're not dating at all, but you want to get yourself together and work on yourself before you start dating. Then I have a course down there for you. It's called Super Singles. You'll see the entire course name down there once you go to the description box below. Now, if you are in the second stage, which is the dating stages then I have a program down there for you where you can navigate through the dating stages so you can know exactly what to do what to look for how to be um, you know just putting yourself out there not being scared to ask for what you want etc etc I have a program down there for you who are in the dating stages and then the third program that I have is for all of you who are in long-term relationships or in marriages who want to spice up your relationship and even add some more context and texture to your relationship and actually bring back all of the happy-go-lucky feelings to your relationship I have a program down there for you as well go ahead and look in the description box below right under the actual caption about the video you will see it somewhere just under there so go ahead and click on this perspective link for you so you can participate and actually support my channel so these videos can continue to be free I would appreciate it so much so now my three tips on how to attract a better partner let's go ahead and jump in all right the first one is kind of a no-brainer but I want to make sure that I say it because I sometimes hear people not knowing what they want so the very first one is to know exactly what you want in a potential partner don't go out there just thinking that your your potential mate whether male or female depending on who you're looking for what you like and all that stuff out there um, know what you want from a potential partner I actually just heard a story not too long ago I, I want to say before I even tell you the story that I think it was a bit dramatic however it worked out for this lady so now the story is that she decided to write down I always talk about I personally talk about a deal breakers list but she didn't mention it she didn't specifically call it that but it turned out to be in just that so what I mean by that is she had gotten her heart broken like so many of us out here do and she got her heart broken and she was married and so she decided she was like you know what I'm not even about to do that no more that that, that was too much for me so no no means no right and so anyway a couple years had gone by she decided not to date for the first couple and then she was like you know what let me get back into this the whole dating thing right and so as the years and stuff was going by what she decided to do was to make a list a very lengthy list I will say that I made a list sort of like this before but this ain't my story um, <laughs> so for her she actually decided to make a more and more about getting married she was starting to work on herself and things were starting to go a little bit better she felt a little bit better about the whole situation as far as thinking about getting married and everything and so what she did is when she started to write down her non-negotiable list so I'm only getting married if he meets all of these criteria well to speed the story up I will say that her list was very very lengthy but for her she was just making sure because she had gotten her heart broken before and she really was still maybe on the fence about getting married that why her list was so long so her list ended up being 85 freaking things which I like I said it was already excessive I said that in the beginning her list ended up being 85 character traits how they look how he dressed like she had a very 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 detailed and lengthy list and so what happened is that she ended up dating this guy she unexpectedly unexpectedly got pregnant by this guy and they were from different countries and so in order for them to to actually become a part of the child's life I don't, I don't know why this was the decision but the only way they decided that they both wanted to be a part of this child's life is if they made the um, decision to get married not like become a couple just to get married like um I'm sorry I want to say that they actually were boyfriend and girlfriend it was a long distance relationship but with that with that being said 
only way that they wanted to both be a part of this ch child's life is to, be is to become married. So what she did is, um, she she had, after she wrote this lengthy list, she, she didn't look at it for about two years. And so once this unexpected pregnancy came about, she pulled out this list and she looked at it because she was entertaining the idea of getting married again, but he had to meet these criteria. Like, she was like, this is the only way. So lo and behold, she went down her list, and guess what, y'all? This dude made he 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 made 83 out of the 85. Like I thought that was unbelievable. <laughs> like she damn near got a hundred percent of what she was looking for. So then they got married, and as the uh, as, as the story goes on, they live ever, happily ever after, right? But I'm just saying that you have to actually know what you want in a partner before you willy-nilly go out there dating and then expecting the other person to know what you want if you never communicate what you want to them because none of us are mind readers all right so know what you want from your potential partner as i mentioned before her list was a bit excessive but i do think that you should work on some type of a list i call it my deal breakers list you should have some type of a list for your non-negotiable. So when you do go out there meeting your little cutie pie that finds sexy thing across the room, you can refer back to your list to see if they are matching up to your list. Now, as a side note, you're not gonna get 100% of your list. Just even notice, her list, she had 85, she only got 83. My list, I had several. My husband, now he, now we're married, y'all, okay? So my husband, he didn't have 100% of what I was looking for either. You're really, you're usually, let me say usually, you're usually not gonna get 100% of what you want, but if you can get at least 80%, then you are winning. Y'all know about that 80-20 rule. If you get 80% of what you want and then you have to deal with the 20%, you actually winning. You might not think it when you're going through something and it's dealing with that 20%. You might not think that you are, but you really are winning. Okay, so I'm going to move on. But number one, know what you want from your potential partner. The second thing that I hear people kind of struggling with is becoming that very person that you want someone to love. So you know, if you have anger issues, you need to start working on your anger issues. Go and talk to somebody. If you have baggage that you have not dealt with, it doesn't matter what the baggage is, all of us have a story. A L L of us have a story. And most of it stems from our childhood, it doesn't always have to go there, but most of it stems from our childhood and just us not really knowing how to deal with things in our childhood and then we carried them on into adulthood baggage 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 so many people have baggage that they need to deal with so know that baggage needs to be dealt with you have to become the person in order to receive that love also you have to know that you deserve to be loved you deserve it not not just want it you deserve it all of us deserve to be loved we all deserve to feel and to be able to show and to believe that you deserve to be loved because you do it doesn't matter what you did back in the day it doesn't matter if you in my case have asked God to forgive you then there is no other person that cannot forgive you because if you ask i.e. repented then you been then you have already been forgiven by God so no human can really judge you. Even though we have a tendency to judge anyway, no human really is supposed to judge, right? We're not supposed to be judging. Only God can judge you. Now, if God is not your thing, if you're talking about the universe or higher power, then that's your thing. But my thing is specifically God, okay? Become the person so they can actually love you and show you love, but also know that you deserve it. You do. So that's number two. The third tip that I'm going to give you, the third and final tip, is to only ask for any and all of the things that you are willing to do yourself. Yes, let that sink in. If you are not willing to take out the garbage, but that's what you want in your spouse, then you shouldn't be asking for it. If you are not willing to not be a cheater, you shouldn't be asking for a non-cheater. Yeah, I'm quiet. I'm letting that one sink in because it always, not always, but it seems to always go back to cheating, which that's not the only type of relationship issue that we have. Um, I absolutely brought up, if you haven't seen my video, the 38 
hard truths about relationships. Of course, I'll link it up here at some point and of course down in the description box below. But go ahead and watch that video because so many people out here, they don't talk about the hardships that we have in our relationships. And then the other person on the outside looking in, you're thinking that it's always rosy or that person always gets exactly what they want and blah, 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 blah. And that's really, that's really not the case. Like, it's really not. It's not. So you can stop thinking that. If you're not willing to be a very respectful person, you can't expect to get respect. If you're not willing to be an open and honest person, then you cannot expect to get an open and honest person. You get my drift. I won't go down a whole list of things. Be the person. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, well be the person that you want your spouse to be. All right. Reflect that. Whatever it is that you're asking for, you have to be willing to give that same thing. So these are my three tips on how to attract a better person. Basically, you have to become that better person. So the attracted person can come on to you a lot faster, a lot easier, a lot smoother. You have much fun. And you, anyway, I'm being silly. <laughs> So if you like this video, if you love this video, go ahead and give me thumbs up down there. I absolutely want to see the thumbs up. Again, just to mention my three online courses, if you need help and there is a way to work with me virtually, I have to say go ahead and purchase one of my online courses. If you have a question that you would like for me to answer, whether on YouTube or not, then use my email address down below. Of course, if this is your very first time here to I Love Me Me Me, then understand I would love for you to subscribe because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. So we, yes, us together, can increase the marriage rate by simultaneously decreasing the divorce rate. I love you guys and I will see you again in a future video. Deuces.